All right, where is it? How did I how did I miss this chest? The map if the map is to be believed, this is it was not a chest for me to miss. And it would it actively change the recording? <laughs> And we'll change all recordings going forward. There it is, behind the waterfall. Wait. Wait, who are we fighting? Who? I, I don't think I know what's there. I don't think I care what's there. Misko's treasure! It is some sort of climbing gear. Climbing gear! <laughs> the literal climbing gear. Cool. Well, that's, that's actually going to really help me. Let's, uh, let's go upgrade that. What's the set bonus? Eh, shock damage resist. I don't think that's different from Breath of the Wild. Okay. Where's that boss? What was the boss? Actually, oh, no, it wasn't a boss. It was a Yiga clan base. I forgot about that. I was wandering around. Uh, actually, not even in between this recording and the last. Like, three recording sessions ago, I was wandering around. Uh, just kind of testing my setup. And I found this thing. So let's, no, do it, bro. Got him. Oh, look, bananas and money. I saw a horrifying creature yesterday. At first, I thought it was just someone in the distance, but then I realized they were glowing. I panicked and went to tell someone, but I couldn't find a blade master to report to. There was a note saying that they were all sick with stomach aches. I wonder if they got hungry enough to eat the deep fireflies. Glory to Master Koga and our wonderful organization that has it all together. <laughs> are they talking about the ghosts or are they talking about the, uh... Like Phantom Ganon. I'm not sure. Okay, we get from the left one. You'd think I would remember this. Yeah, a crystalline core. It's the right one that always has the schematic in it. What useless but thought-provoking thing am I going to get this time? A raiding plane. What is a raiding plane? Actually, what... What is a raiding plane? Hold on. Oh! That's very expensive. Uh, but without the battery, this is exactly what the comments have been telling me that I should, uh, should do. Also, I can do this. I've... Oh, it has like a laser or something on it. That's cool. Huh. Hey, guy. I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna... Oh, they have turrets. Oh, they have turrets. Okay. Look at him on his little racetrack. It's really hard to see, but... Ha! <laughs> Aha! I see! Um... What you doing? Oh my word, I can get <laughs> I got that off I got the 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 bow the bow rush off of that. Okay. Yeah. And a three wheeler. Not the thing we just saw, but another a different thing. Okay. There's some kind of supply site for Zonai devices along the road. As we navigate the depths, this site is a lifesaver. Obviously, we need these devices to build transportation, but they can, they can take a beating when they bump around in the dark. I don't know what I'd do without the supply site to swap out broken materials. If whoever built the site wasn't long gone, I'd send a thank you note. Glory to Master, Master Koga. Glory to the man who built that random site a thousand years ago. Okay, I think I can officially introduce the episode, or the recording session. Hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to Tears of the Kingdom. Oh, hi! You guys are not enemies. I don't think I've ever just tapped the bow button, uh, in order... I don't think I've ever just tapped the bow button to enter bow time. Uh, new recording session! We're gonna start this out in depths. Don't worry, this is not a depths recording session. I'm, I just want to fill out this little stretch here. Most of this is probably gonna be cut out, and then we'll get to the, the actual exciting parts, which are... Uh, ex exploration. I have a direction that I'd like to go. We're gonna start circling down towards uh, this great fairy fountain, hugging the coast, 
And uh, yeah, we're gonna get some nice beach sessions in. Well, probably not this recording session, but soon, very soon. Maybe, maybe in this recording session, who knows? I believe in you, go! Yeah. First light route. I have no idea what could be in this area. Uh, looking at the map, There are gonna be a lot of walls in here. In fact, are we just about to hit a dead end? I think, ooh, this might be a multiple dead end swath. Yeah, because the, the river is going to block us. Interesting. Okay, but there's a mine nearby, so I can grab the mine. Uh, I, I just was kind of under the impression, the mistaken impression that I could just walk along this, the bottom here and just clear this out. It's like a hallway of darkness, but it's not a hallway of darkness. It's in fact, a Multiple rooms of darkness. Also, I can grab this. Uh, I'll probably warp over there. Yeah, I'll probably warp over there and grab that. But first, we need to get the, the mine shaft because they always have something good in them. Except for the times where they don't and they, it's just something lame. What? Looks really weird. Why does it? Why does that look so weird? Those souls just look odd to me, like they haven't loaded in properly? Although, the fact that there's a normal tree down here is probably what's really throwing me off. The bloopy burrow, what is this? Is Oh, this is under, oh, this is under Mount Satori. Okay, does this, ch oh, there are bloopies everywhere. Huh, okay, so bloopies lead you toward towards holes in this game, towards, uh, towards caverns. So I can only assume that's what they do here. First off, souls galore. So we're gonna grab those first and try not to disturb the bloopies. Oh, there's a chest. Okay, so I was very wrong. This is not a mine shaft at all. Well, no, it kinda is. It kinda is, though. All right. That might be the reward from the quote-unquote mine shaft, but it might not. We'll grab these souls. That's a lot of souls. Oh, my word. Uh, we'll go grab those souls. There are bloopies inside that little cavern. I want to be careful. I, I don't want to shoot these things. Like, they give money, sure. Uh, but that's not, that's not the true reward. It's going to be weird that I'm scaring them in a cave. They're inside that. Huh. Okay. Just chilling. Oh, actually, you know what? You know what? I should probably take a picture of one of these guys. Because at some point... Is that, did that count? No. There we go. At some point, I'm going to need to scry for them, and, uh... It'd be good if I could find them. Okay, where are you going to lead me? Where are you going? I'm following you! Guide me! Guide me! Oh. Oh, 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 okay, I understand, I understand. I wish I had run speed up. Okay, he's leading me that direction. Is there anything in this direction? That's not a hole. Uh, I might have done it backwards, I'm not sure. Oh, also, if I sound at all a little bit weird, um... I, I'm trying out a different pop filter for my mic. Uh, it's... <coughs> some of you... I'm, I, I kind of hid this in another recording session, so some of you might know why I'm changing a bunch of my equipment, but I'm changing a bunch of my equipment. And you're just going to have to trust me that's for the best. So if I sound a little bit weird, or if some of my plosives are a little bit louder than normal, uh, my, my Blue Yeti currently has an afro. Okay, I, I think I did do this wrong, though. Thankfully, I have a blue pea to go back to if I didn't scare it away like a nincompoop. I wonder what the etymology of nincompoop is. Hmm. Because, like... Poop's in the name. Okay, so we, we're already here. And it would have led us towards that blue pea. Oh, whoa, he's, oh, he's running! He's running! He's running! You got a runner! Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Okay, uh, ugh. I guess, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's not lost. It kind of stinks because these bloopies, 
Like, they want to run away from me, but they also want to run away from... Run towards, you know, uh, something to show me. And so if I don't know necessarily where that thing is, I can misinterpret their intent, and uh, they end up just showing me nothing. So it's entirely possible that these, these bloopies are not here to show me anything. I mean, really. But if I go inside every single burrow, I should be okay. Like this one. One last bloopy. One last hollow. Ah! Oh, you guys. Okay, you're, if you're just gonna miss, I'm not gonna bother with you. Okay. Didn't scare the bloopy away. That's very important. Bloopy! Hello! Two bloopies! I'm gonna... Mm, I gotta run. Go! Lead me! Where are you leading me? Uh... Okay, yes, 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 yes. Good. Leading... Okay. Alright. I mean, maybe they were just here for money and I missed out on all of the money. We are in a cave. Uh, I don't expect necessarily a, an amazing reward, but like, I don't know. A Lord of the Mountain Mask would be kind of neat, and... Currently, all I have to show for this is crystalline charges, so... Let me know if there's anything special. Oh, hi. Hello. Goodbye. Well, let me know if there's anything special that I was supposed to get here. So far, I've gotten a big fat zero, though, and I'm going to keep moving because I'm not going to spend the entire episode here. Unless this robot has something to say. I think it's a broken robot, but you never know. It is broken. But you don't know until you talk to him. You know what? I never... I never do this. I never actually just hit them. I always pick them up. This goes treasure. Now I'm curious. Did I just miss this originally? Or do we not have the note? Did I have the note when I missed it? Who? I wonder how close I got to it, too. Uh, it should be right... Right over... Down here. Near this log somewhere. Uh, I'm getting close. Oh, there it is. Okay. I drastically misjudged my distance. Oh, it was a, a mine shaft. You know, this might have... No, we never discovered this before. Okay, so I, I just straight up missed it. That makes me feel a little bit better. Bye, weapon. Uh, that makes me feel a little bit better because that means I didn't just like... I wasn't here when I didn't know that these things, the mine shafts have good tr uh, treasure, potential treasure. That's cool. I feel better. Treasure chest contains... Miner's top! Miner's top! Yeah! We have the full set now! Look at us! Full glow! Sweet! I am not... Okay. Uh, mm, the, the miner's top ki kind of looks like if Mad Max and like, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what, what Christmas movie am I even thinking of? Is it the Grinch? It's not the Grinch. Oh, you know what? I'm thinking. I think I'm thinking of one of the uh, the claymation Rudolph movies. It feels like if if Mad Max and the Rudolph movies combined. Wow. There were legitimately 50 Zonite inside this one, this one shaft. I'm, I'm marking this because at some point it will respawn and I'm going to come here to get 50. That was insane. You know, over time I've started to appreciate the depths. I think, I think mainly because my expectation of what the depths should contain has, has changed because... Like, now I know that every light fruit tends to have something attached to it, whether it's a boss, a Giga base, uh, a, uh, what else am I thinking? A boss Giga base, a mine shaft. All of them just tend to have, like, one, maybe two things. I recognize what they look like on the map now. I understand what the lead up to a Frox, uh, boss or battlefield looks like. And so, 
I, I can kind of, I know what's, what is signal and I know what's noise and I can tune out the noise and just focus on what's important. And so I, I've really started to appreciate them for that reason. It also helps me commentate because I know when I need to, when I need to be commentating and when I don't, uh, when I don't. Um, and that's also very important because, uh, if you, if I know, if I feel like I have to commentate the entire time, the, the depths are just going to be exhausting. But here, I know, hey, I'm leading up to the light route. Uh, I can start talking about what I want to talk about now, and it, it'll be fine. Case in point, there's the one thing attached to this light route. It is uh, a pillar that will lead us... Interesting. I wonder if that pillar will lead us to the cave where the climbing gear is. That would be really cool game design, actually. I, I would be I'd be kind of down with that. I should probably also equip my minecart because I do not have my proper gear uh, for gloom and I would like these souls and it also really sucks that this is how pose are I so there are a couple let's plays I actually go back and rewatch um, some of them it yearly and eventually I you know I find new let's plays to watch yearly but like a lot of them are Steven plays a lot of them are um, the runaway guys. Uh, and I just, I like to revisit them because it, it gives me the sense of playing through a game that I might not have the time to play through again because I'm working on other projects. And, or a game that I have no desire to play because it has no merit as a let's play type game. What is, okay, so there's the pillar. What is that red light over there? Probably just a, yeah, just a enemy base. Let's go check out this pillar. I already lost it. Um... Uh, so one of those one of those let's plays is Stephen plays Twilight Princess. If you have not watched that let's play, I highly, highly, highly oh there's a frox. Highly recommend that you do so because it is. <laughs> I, I would probably put it top five let's plays I've ever watched. It's just a blast. If you if you don't mind watching people play through a Zelda game uh, fairly terribly. Um, then you will be laughing the entire way because it is it is fantastic. Steven's sense of humor in that Let's Play is top-notch. I think the best he's ever had. Um, and it's just a great Let's Play. But one thing I've noticed is how much I miss Paul... Oh, that's a special Frox, isn't it? Hold on. Oh, no, no, it's not. It just looks kind of special. That's a better picture anyway. Um, here, let's... I fought these guys enough. I, I could commentate through this, I think. Maybe. Possibly. I wish he was closer to a tree, but I can make this work. Ooh, there's a Lionel too. Let's go. Okay. I'm cool with this. Uh, okay. Ready, set. Let's jam. That didn't quite work. That's fine. Uh, something I've, I've grown to kind of miss in Zelda games is the level of insane polish in them. I, I made a little bit of a facetious comment last recording session uh, when we were doing the, the mini game with the... with the, uh, the Rito about how we had to fade to black in order for him to walk like 10 feet because they didn't want to program an animation for it. And that, I, I hadn't really come to the conclusion yet. I, it was just something I was just starting... What on earth? I was just starting to open my eyes to. But it's kind of insane. Older Zelda games have animations for literally everything. And now, if they, if they want them to walk five feet, they have to fade to black for it. It's really weird. And I guess it's just something... I'm not going to use the Gibdo Bones. You know what? I'm just going to do this in one shot here. That should do it. There we go. It, it's really weird the limitations that Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild have when it comes to, to side quests. And I, I'm looking forward to the next Zelda game. Um, <clears throat> Satoru Iwata has... Oh, sorry, not Satoru Iwata. May he rest in peace. 
Mimoto recently was talking about uh, the the new generation of game devs that Nintendo is helping raise up, which Nintendo is generally pretty good about doing that, but it was just, you know, uh, the topic of the day. And he was saying how smoothly it was going. And it's something that I've kind of realized is I, I do think, especially considering some of the dev notes uh, and dev vlogs they made for Breath of the Wild, I do think that this is a product of uh, new blood and them trying out things and letting new blood just kind of experiment um, under their their loose leadership. And I, uh, you can definitely see what works. You can see what doesn't work. I think they're realizing that. And I'm excited to see where we go from here because I, I think it's only going to be an improvement. All right, hey buddy. Please don't shoot me. Oh, it's a, mm, mm, hold on, hold on. I didn't realize that this was a, a big man. Yeah, we're gonna do this. Whew. All right, I got this ready. Got my shield. Let's not have a shield that's ready to break. I caught that. Wow, I'm surprised I got that. That was a really hard uh, flurry rush to get in Breath of the Wild. Ooh, he staggered. Let's mount him. All right, what's my best weapon right now? 75 power? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot him in the back of the head a couple times. Fuse attack power. I will go with a Gibdo Bone, and I will go with a... Not the Falcon Bow. Not the Falcon Bow. I'll go with this bow. Pretty good. Oh. Run. Got around him. Hold on. Why did I take... Why did I take gloom damage from that? Am I crazy? That's not a normal thing, is it? Oh, again. Ooh, I can't believe I did that. Oh, I have gloom. I, it's a gloom tool weapon. I'm an idiot. Okay. I equipped a gloom tool weapon. That makes a lot of sense. I need to be careful. That one doesn't have multiple attacks. I'm not going to challenge that. Read you can, though. Okay. I tried to challenge it. I thought I had the timing. I think I did the Breath of the Wild timing, though. Uh, ooh, ooh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I have fairies. I think I'm good. I think I'm okay. I think I'm okay. Whoa! That was close. Nice. Yeah, kind of going back to my other, other topic. I think I, I think I got this. I think I can commentate through this. Uh, kind of. Oh. Yeah. Oh. All right. I'll just kill you, I guess. Um. Does Gloom Toll kill me? <laughs> it didn't do the Gloom Toll when I was on his back, so I think I'm, I'm safe to do this. Nice. Okay. Uh, think about how many Ze how many mini games in prior Zelda games completely changed the control scheme. Whether whether or not you were uh, you were guiding a a raft down down a raging river, uh, whether or not you were fishing, um, whether or not uh, what are some other examples? Um, <clears throat> hmm. Eh, those, those are good enough examples for me to come come up with off the cuff. There are a lot of... Uh, point being, there are a lot of minigames that drastically change your controls, and that's not really the case in Tears of the Kingdom and Breath of the Wild. Um, for the most part, the minigames involve simple game actions that we've been playing with the entire time, which, while that is kind of cool because it, it just shows how much those can be used to accomplish uh, unique tasks, it's also... I don't know... There's cer a certain magic about all the minigames that there used to be, and that is largely uh, gone. Uh, I'm going to... Fuse this armor shard. Unfortunately... Actually, I guess our, our time on this side is done anyway. Yeah, it's done anyway. 
So let's let's see where this this ends up, and then we'll warp to the other side and get the last the last little pocket of gloom. Ooh, hold on that first. That's more important. Also, I would like you to appreciate uh, me using. If that was a muddle bud, I would have died. <laughs> I want you to appreciate me using uh, fuse in combat like that. Cool. They really do push us towards towards this specific stable, which is cool. That's exactly how they should do it. Okay, if I recall, wasn't there a well down here, or am I? I think I'm misremembering. Yeah, I'm misremembering. Okay, well let's let's warp back down into the depths and get this very last light route. Thankfully, that little break served to get rid of my gloom. There's no boss around here, right? This looks very bossy. They don't really put- they don't put frocks that close to, uh, to light roots. It's just not a thing that they do. Looks like I can largely take this route the entire way. That's- that's gonna be nice. He's just holding a spear. Don't really care. It would be really nice to- for them to explain, uh, all these dead soldiers a bit better. Uh, also the postals, because clearly, the, you know, there are thousands upon thousands and thousands of people dead here. So you, you know, uh, an explanation of that would be great. Even if it was a flashback, some lore, uh, I mean, I don't want to, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to praise Skyward Sword more than I, you know what, I, I'd love to praise Skyward Sword some more. Thank you. I'm, I'm really glad you guys asked for that, because that's what makes me really happy. Uh, Skyward Sword did a really great job of, of explaining and giving giving exposition on uh, this past society, this past super technologically advanced si society. It was it was really cool to see all of the, the robots and um, get a brief glimpse into a time that really no other Zelda game has ever captured. And that's something that I... This game is like trying to do but at the same time it almost feels like uh, these these are just my initial thoughts mind you having gotten you know two of the flashback scenes two of the glyphs it kind of feels like they're flipping off the rest of the the zelda franchise because they are again my impressions right now they're retconning so much with the creation of hyrule that I, I don't think there's a way back from this. I don't think that there is a way where they can incorporate the other Zelda games and not have plot holes. Uh, in Breath of the Wild, we had the continued confirmation of Fee, of Fee's existence. Why did I not skip this cutscene? And that was that was awesome. I loved that, and it made sense within Breath of the Wild. What? How? Wait. It made sense within Breath of the Wild because. The, the possibility was still there. Apparently, I can go down to the depths from here. Because I, I definitely can't get get to this location <laughs> from from the depths. That's weird. Okay, what is in this area? It looks like there is a... That's Oh, that's a mine shaft. Okay. And so that, that shout-out to Fee was really cool. Um... <laughs> There's technically a shout out to Fee in Ocarina of Time. I know it came first, uh, but they kind of wrote Fee around that. Right before you deal the final blow to Ganon, uh, your sword glows blue. And it's never explained what that is. Ever. Well, until Skyward Sword, where it makes a lot more sense. So it's. It's this respect for previous Zelda games and future, if they are uh, taking place in a game's past. Um, Twilight Princess definitely respected Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. In fact, I consider that, I consider those those three games to be part of a trilogy. At least in my, my personal headcanon. But this game hasn't really left a lot of wiggle room here. And I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, I mean, if they're going to Obviously, if they're doing something different, that's, you know, that's okay. Uh, it's If it's a complete story, that's okay. I don't necessarily have to personally like it, but if it's... If it tells the tale it needs to without 
leaving more questions than answers, looking at using the Blade X, uh, then who am I to stand in its way? I can just, at the end of the day, state my preference and, but still respect it. Um, but so far, it leaves a lot of questions unanswered. Um, where did all of the ancient tech from Breath of the Wild go? Where are the divine beasts? They're mentioned like twice, but where are they? Uh, w the creation of Hyrule and the Zonai. Are those the society that had the robots in, in Skyward Sword and the ancient, the, uh, the ancient mining facility? Or are they not? And if they're not, uh, who really are they? Um, how do they tie into Skyloft? I know I'm asking a lot of questions specifically about Skyward Sword, but... I mean, this game kind of points towards Skyward Sword, and they seem to respect Skyward Sword and Breath of the Wild and understand, like, hey, this is kind of our leaping off point. It's it's one of the strongest stories and worlds we've built, so let's move off that. Um, it's uh, So that that makes sense, but then in this game, it's, it's very strange, and I don't understand half of the stuff in this game. Um, and I don't... I'm getting the impression that you're not expected to. That's weird. We got crystalline charges, right? I, I I was talking about this, and I think I tuned out what we got, but I think we got crystalline charges, and we're fine. 